Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV. We're at the MGM Grand here. Here's the moment this Saturday, uh, May the 3rd. Mayweather Maidana fighting on the undercard. J. Leon Love. Uh, What's going on? What's happening? Chilling, man. Just you, enjoying the moment. You good? The moment, okay, absolutely. Um, tough fight for you against uh, Marco Periban. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Um, I feel great. You know, he's a tough fighter. Um, you know, taking nothing away from him. Yeah, he's going to come and bring his, bring his A game. You know, I'm going to bring my A game. So, these are two young fighters with everything on the line and everything to lose. So, you know, we got to make it happen. Mm. Um, How did you rate your last couple of performances? Uh, you know, 68, I felt a lot better. All both ending in stoppages. So, uh, I mean, I'm doing better, you know. Uh, you know, I'm prof I'm getting older and I'm maturing. I'm, I'm just getting better as, as time goes on. Time goes on, you know what I mean? So, um, here it is, another stage where I can showcase my talent and we're going to go out there and, 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 and breach to look good. Mm. Was it the press conference yesterday for uh, Floyd and, and mm. Marcos? And Floyd said some very good things about you. You know, yeah. he said that this is a stacked card, but... You know, you're his boy and you will yeah. become future world champion. That must be, you must take some encouragement from that, yeah. Jay Leon. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely a blessing to even be around Floyd Mayweather, not to be mentioned by him, but, you know, just to soak up so much knowledge and the business aspect and not only that, just watching this man train full time, you know. And uh, I just take what I see as far as training-wise, you know what I mean, the business aspect, and I, and I incorporate it in, in, into what I do. So, um, you know. I know what it takes to be a champion. I see it day in and day out. This man trains like he's broke, so I got to put the work in even double time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, it's, like I said, it's definitely a blessing to be, even be mentioned by him. Mm. Um, obviously, there's a, there's a lot of you in the money team, and you know you seem to be uh, sort of kind of at the top of it with your experience and yeah. you know the people that you thought of the rest of the money team fighters. So, yeah. there's a, feel a little bit of pressure on you to deliver. Um, you know what, man? I, it's no pressure because I put the, the the work that I'm supposed to put in. You know what I mean? When you put, when you ran like you were supposed to, spar like you were supposed to, hit the bag, speed bag, jump rope, all the things that you're supposed to do with boxing, ate right, diet was good. For these long months that we trained for, it's pretty much no pressure. All you gotta do is go out there and, and, and deliver. You know what I mean? And, and put it all out there. And that's what I'm gonna do. You know, on Saturday, come Saturday. I've did everything right by the book, you know, no shortcuts, no missing workouts, no nothing, training two and three times a day. And here it is, you know, the time is now where, you know, it's the, it's just the coast moment and then we fight. Yeah. And this is what I've been waiting on for a long time. You know, last May I was on the card. It was controversial, my win, things like that, whatever the case, this is me, myself right here now to redeem myself. There were a few issues uh, surrounding, yeah. uh, which is now declared an old contest. Uh -huh. Are you just looking to put that behind you now and yeah, just it, move on from that? It's, it's, already, it's already behind me, you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I've had two fights since then, um, wait, three fights since then. So at the end of the day, I mean, uh, it's no, I'm not worried about that. It's behind me. Now, here it is. I'm, I got to perform for what's in front of me, which is Marco Parabon. I'm not worried about anybody else until I take care of business here. Absolutely. Um, from England, James Arge Argent has been yeah. over and done a bit of training with you, and he, yeah, yeah. he raves about you. I talk to him all the time, and he, uh -huh. he raves about you. He's taking a shine to you. So, uh, were you aware of the program uh, he was on and how popular that was in England? You know what? I didn't. I, he came out to the gym, and I was like, "Who is this kid?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he was just talking. He was just. He talks a lot. <laughs> His personality stuck out. You yeah. know what I mean. That's one good thing about him. He has a great personality. You know what I mean. Uh, and me, be, we're just two different worlds. So how he was raised there, and how I'm raised, where I'm from. You know, the loud guy normally doesn't like by everybody. You know what I mean. Yeah. And he was loud and just wasn't shy about anything. You know what I mean. So I started to take heed to that. I'm like, oh, this is a cool dude. You know what I mean. Not only that, you know. You know it, you know, he, he's himself, no matter where he is. He's in the States, around people he doesn't even know. Yeah. And he's still himself. Yeah. And I think that's what stuck out, and that's why he, who he is, you know what I mean? He's just continuing to grow in his career. And then I actually looked him up and started getting more into it, and I see that the kid is, is, is a superstar over there. <laughs> I was like, well, well, damn, you know? <laughs> I'm talking all this crazy stuff. This man, is the, he's the man, you know what I mean? So... You know, big shouts out to James Argent, man. You know, all those guys, Joey Essex, all those guys that came over. Um, great, great group of guys, man. I had a good time hanging out with them. You know, they sure definitely know how to have fun. You know what I mean? And I told them I'd come over and visit, so don't forget about me. I'm going to be over there in England. 
check you guys out over there. Do you know how mad it is, crazy it is to listen to you, uh-huh. Daily and Love, from over here talking about that stuff back home, reality yeah. TV back at home. It's crazy, yeah. but it's like two different worlds, like you said. But yeah. Why not? You know, why not? I mean, you know, man, I, it's just. It's, it's crazy how the world works. You meet so many different people in this world, you know. Me, I, I was just so closed-minded at one time where I didn't want to make no friends and I wasn't the friendliest person and I was just all about me, you know what I mean? And then I opened doors to meet different people and different uh, how people live, you know. And then I started roommate, roommating with other people, people to listen to rock and roll and I listen to rap or hip, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. R&B. And then, then I kind of catch myself listening to Kings of Leon and stuff like that. And it's like, damn, you know what I mean? You just, you learn to grow and open up different doors. And these are the type of people you meet. Those good James Argents and people like that from England and, you know, all over the world. You yeah. know, I met a lot of great people, a lot of great, great people. And, you know, as time moved, it has been going on. So, you know, um, you, I have met you several different times now. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's been cool. You know, you can holler at me about an interview anytime. And, you know, it's, it's just all about growing. That's what life is about. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, more doors you can open for yourself in life, the better. So, yeah. you know, definitely. But, um, all right, listen, Jalen, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. And no uh, we've got a press conference now to go yep. to. So, uh, uh, best of luck for your Thank fight this Saturday. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Kuhn Cassis, yeah. Jalen Love, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Yeah.